My friends, I've got some really good news on one front. Not so good a news, but something that I can overcome on another front. I'll tell you all about it right after this. Hello, my friends. Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa Stringworks Workshop. It is Wednesday, June 14th. And Wednesday means that Cash should be here for his lesson this afternoon. Uh, it's been a few weeks since I've given Cash a lesson, and the reason being uh, I had a doctor's appointment one time, and he couldn't make it another time, and last week I was at Mountain View, so it's been a little while. But uh, he should be here this afternoon, and things should go real well. If you've lost track of where we're at with Cash, we have started him on learning how to do a little bit of flat picking, and he He's struggling with that. This has been a big uphill battle for him, but I think once he gets through the first tune, you know, I imagine it'll all be a lot easier because he's just having trouble coordinating the hand with the string and the fingers with the string and the whole bit, you know. Uh, at 10 years old, that's just where all that starts to come together and uh, it'll come together faster and faster for him from this point on, I'm sure. Well, I mentioned I got some really good news so i'll just go ahead and tell you that first the boys are going to be here on friday to hook up the fiber optic internet service Woohoo! <laughs> i'm really excited about that i it, it's really going to change things and make things so much better the only negative if there is a negative to it is that friday is also our shop talk the shop talk itself shouldn't be affected other than the fact that those guys might be here needing my assistance. And so there's a possibility that I'll have to maybe put the shop talk on hold for a minute or so to answer a question or to help them with uh, some decision making or something. But other than that, everything should go off as normal. I don't think there'll be any disruption of service or anything because basically what they've got to do is run it from the pole into the shop. The connections and all that will work out after they get all the other part done and they shouldn't be ready for those connections until that long after the shop talk would be finished anyway. So what's the uh, news that's not so uh, wonderful? Well, you probably know that I've been working on a bandsaw sharpener for my sawmill. The sharpener itself is going to be fine, I think, but that specialized CBM wheel is not going to work on my present chainsaw sharpener like I thought it would. Uh, it's really complicated. Here's a picture to show you where the adapter I made lines up. You can see that it doesn't line up with the guard that's above and this wheel is pretty fat and it won't fit in there where it needs to fit. And you might say, we'll just move the uh, thing in and it's just not physically possible. Uh, the, the constraints of the way that the chainsaw sharpener is designed, I, I'm not gonna go into the details, but trust me, I've tried every possibility I can think of. And so the bottom line is this wheel is just not gonna be able to work. I paid $140 for this, so I'm going to see if I can return this. So what are my backup plans? Well, the backup plan is I've already got a CBN wheel for sharpening chainsaws. It's a much thinner wheel, but it will work to sharpen the, the uh, bandsaw blades also. It's just that this cut the gullet and sharpened the blade all in one fell swoop, and that's why I was wanting to use this, where the other one will just sharpen the blade and, yeah with some fudging around we could probably make it work on the gullet as well but it's just a lot more work i was just hoping to do it with this one thing and if you're wondering, well, why do I care about this sharpener so much? I've got a lot of used blades and they're not doing me any good, so I might as well sharpen them. And the reason I need the resharpened blades is because like when you cut questionable wood, like these stumps that have rocks embedded, of course, I'm gonna try to get all the rocks I can find out, but there's always a chance there'll be an embedded rock I can't see. 
And, you know, when you're cutting other questionable wood where it may have a nail driven in it or whatever, it's really nice to be able to use a used bandsaw blade that's been resharpened versus a totally brand new blade, which would ruin it in an instant. Anyway, that's the whole nature of the beast. And I'm going to continue working on developing my sharpener. Yeah, I could just go buy one. And with the time I'm spending, maybe that would have been smart to just do. But uh, you know me, I like to make stuff. Stuff, so there you go. Well, the rest of today, I'm going to get back into the office and get some more stuff caught up in there. And then I'm not sure which project I'm going to work on next, whether it be the sharpener or her horse trailer, or maybe even jump into that bay window thing. One of those projects is going to happen. I'm just not sure which one. Thank you so much for checking in with me. We will see you tomorrow. Yeah.